What's up you guys, it's Chris and I am back with another video. I know it's been a long, long time, but I'm back and I'm hopefully gonna keep uploading. I know I keep saying that, but life happens. So we're back with a new video. First, I wanna start off with, check those two links in my description. The first one being for my Instagram, where I will be posting the fit pictures of the things that I show off in these videos. So that way, because I'm not gonna be posting pictures on here, because I want you guys to interact with my Instagram as well. And the second link being for my Depop, where I post anything that I'm not wearing anymore or I've already worn and got my uses out of so that way you guys can get it for a fair price. I'm also gonna throw in a third link, which is gonna be for my Made by the Youth Depop. So if you guys wanna support me and support my brand that I'm trying to start up, which is Made by the Youth, I would greatly appreciate that. That's gonna be the third link in the description. So for the first piece, I'm gonna start off with something that I had already previously bought and I just kind of rebought it because this is one of the things that I regretted selling. This sweater vest or gilet, whatever you wanna call it, um, was from fall winter 2021, I wanna believe. I, I think it was from fall winter 2021. And so you've got the Mrs. Rep on the front with the Astro Squiggle logo. And then you've got this logo on the back. So I don't know, I rebought it because I love this piece and it goes really well with this year's fall winter collection slash mystery school. So I rebought this piece. I just wanted to show that off so that way, I don't know, you guys can kind of get an idea of where I'm going with these outfits. So for the first piece of the actual new collection that I'm gonna be going over is the, I'm gonna call it the crest logo hat. Well, I think they call it the uniform hat, but you know, same thing. It's a black dad hat and you've got the mystery school crest blasted on the front. My only thing is I'm probably going to sell this piece only because for some reason Mr. Strip hats just never fit my head like the way I like my dad has to. Like there's structure to this one. It's kind of got a high crown. I don't know. I like my dad has to be kind of like like loose and no structure to it but that's just me. It does feel like it's made out of some nice uh, twill cotton and it's definitely going to last you a long time. The band on the inside feels nice. The little, the strap on the back, and then you've got a silver buckle on the back. Kind of miss that it doesn't say or have the Mistress logo on the back, because I don't know, that used to be like their, their staple when it came to hats. Some of the negative things about this hat that are not pertaining to me. These pieces are kind of expensive, and the only thing that I would say is it would be better if they had a little bit more quality control on some of these pieces. So I'm gonna show in the videos to the side. In the Misfits logo, there's some like purplish pink stitching from whatever. I don't even know where that would come from because there's no pink stitching involved in this hat at all. It's all black and white. On the inside, you've got a Misfits Rep tag and then you've got this long giant, I don't know why they started doing these tags on every piece, but to me, this is kind of unnecessary, especially on a hat. It's like, why is it, why is it this long? That doesn't, I don't know. Overall, I do love this hat. It's unfortunate that it doesn't fit me the way I would like my dad hats to fit me. So that's why I'm gonna sell it. But other than that, that was the uniform cap. Now let's get on to the next piece. So for these next two pieces, they both did come in the traditional dust bag, a uh, little Ziploc baggy thing. So you just got the Mr. Shop on the front, got the Mr. Shop logo on the back. I'm not gonna keep going over these because it seems like this is gonna be a staple when it comes to the newer collections and seasons. There you go. It did come in the traditional little plastic dust bag. So to round up this video, I did get two of the same pieces, just, just in the two different colorways. I love this piece. That's why I got both colorways. I did get the Sematics. Sematics, I want to say is how you pronounce it. It's like the vibrational pattern. It's the pattern that vibrations make, which is a vibrational pattern. I got the black pair, which has white screen printing on it. And the screen printing does feel really good. It does feel like it's not gonna uh, wear or anything like that anytime soon, I should say. This black pair is also, it's a washed black. So it's gonna be a little bit more gray. You can see like where the stitching and like all that other things are. So it's, I think it's cool. I like the style of it. It makes it look like it's a, a vintage pair of jeans. When it comes to the fit, these are a baggier fit. So me, I kind of prefer my, my jeans to be a slim or a straight leg. They're a baggy fit, but the only thing that's weird about it is when it comes to sizing. So I did get both of them in a size 29. I say both of them because I'm going to show off the blue denim pair next. When I opened them and I tried them on, the black pair fit a little bit tighter in the legs than the blue pair. 
for some reason the blue denim was a bit baggier but the black denim fit kind of like a straight leg like how i like it to fit so i don't know why that is but that's what it is we do have the button fly these pockets are deeper than the previous season pockets which i'm in love with because those pockets at least the front pockets were super shallow and i personally don't like shallow pockets because then you can't put your phone in it you can't do really much anything with it but put your chapstick or your keys so on the front you do have the vibrational patterns going all the way down the leg and then also on the back you have the same thing but they alternate so they're not going to be it's not lazy it's not gonna be the same prints over and over they do alternate on your right thigh it does say number 49 vibration forming geometry in matter through sound frequencies and then it says mr trap under that so that is on your right leg which is gonna be the same as the hoodies and the t-shirts from this specific design now i'm gonna go over the blue denim here you have the blue denim which is literally the exact same thing you've got the button fly the deeper pockets like i said the only thing about this fit is for some reason the blue ones do fit a bit baggier out of the bag i should say because when you wear denim it just automatically loosens up until you wash it then it gets back to the way it was i don't know why that is like i said but um they do fit a little bit baggier the vibrational patterns are going to be the same only thing is that this screen print is black instead of white so i thought that was kind of an interesting choice that they went with black screen printing on the blue denim and then on the right thigh you do have that same saying it's a little bit more difficult to read but it is also it's still pretty clear now how like previous seasons where some of the words were a little bit hard to read because they were fuzzy for whatever reason but this set is this set looks perfect to me i'm not i have really no complaints when it comes to the graphics and none of it is smudged or messed up like how the pre uh the trippy summer star blue denim was i don't know why that was i had bought two pairs of that denim and both times they were just a mess of what my second pair looked like because it looked even worse than the first pair but thankfully with this season we did get really good printed denim so i am very happy with these i just prefer slim fits or straight fits but we can't have everything we want, right? Oh, and then another thing, which I've already done a video on, is I do get the Misfits pendant, which is a part of this season. So if you guys wanna go check out that video, go click that video. Alrighty, you guys, that's gonna conclude this part of my Misfits Trip Mystery School Fall Winter 2022 collection pickups. Wow, that's a mouthful to say. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, leave a comment down below of what your favorite piece was and if you picked up anything from this collection so far. While you're down there, share this video with your friends, subscribe, let's get my name out there, let's keep it pushing. Also check out those three links in my description. I will see you guys in that next video. Later.